In chemistry, the law of multiple proportions is one of the basic laws of stoichiometry used to establish the atomic theory. Alongside the law of conservation of mass and the law of definite proportions, it is sometimes called Dalton's law after its discoverer, the British chemist John Dalton, who published it in the first part of the first volume of his New System of Chemical Philosophy. Here is the statement of the law. If two elements form more than one compound between them, then the ratios of the masses of the second element which combine with a fixed mass of the first element will be ratios of small whole numbers. For example, Dalton knew that the element carbon forms two oxides by combining with oxygen in different proportions. A fixed mass of carbon, say 100 grams, may react with 133 grams of oxygen to produce one oxide, or with 266 grams of oxygen to produce the other. The ratio of the masses of oxygen that can react with 100 grams of carbon is 266 to 133 2 to 1, a ratio of small whole numbers. Dalton interpreted this result in his atomic theory by proposing that the two oxides have one and two oxygen atoms respectively for each carbon atom. In modern notation the first is CO and the second is CO2. John Dalton first expressed this observation in 1804. A few years previously, the French chemist Joseph Proust had proposed the law of definite proportions which express that the elements combine to form compounds in certain well-defined proportions, rather than mixing in just any proportion, and Antoine Lavoisier proved the law of conservation of mass, which helped out Dalton. Careful study of the actual numerical values of these proportions led Dalton to propose his law of multiple proportions. Another example of the law can be seen by comparing ethane with propane. The weight of hydrogen which combines with 1 gram carbon is 0.252 grams in ethane and 0.224 grams in propane. The ratio of those weights is 1.125, which can be expressed as the ratio of two small numbers chapter 9 verse 8. Limitations the law of multiple proportions is best demonstrated using simple compounds. For example, if one tried to demonstrate it using the hydrocarbons decane and undecane, one would find that 100 grams of carbon could react with 18.46 grams of hydrogen to produce decane or with 18.31 grams of hydrogen to produce undecane. For a ratio of hydrogen masses of 121 to 120, which is hardly a ratio of small whole numbers, the law fails with non-stoichiometric compounds and also doesn't work well with polymers and oligomers.